let's talk about baling hay to create baleage. This is forage that is baled at a higher moisture content than dry hay and then stored in sealed plastic wrap. The high moisture level and airtight environment causes hay preservation by acid production during fermentation. Baleage has the potential for higher quality and protein and is more palatable, which results in less waste than dry hay. Livestock require varying forage quality based on species and their stage of production. For example, growing cattle require a greater forage quality than mature beef cows. It is important to match the forage stage of growth to your livestock needs. The less mature the forage, the greater the nutritive value overall. To ensure proper fermentation, sugars need to be available in the forage. The ensiling process is the conversion of sugars to acids after oxygen is eliminated from the bale. Generally, the more vegetative the forage, the better the fermentation process can occur as a result of the sugar content. The fermentation process can take anywhere from 14 to 21 days before it becomes stable and the forage is then ready to feed. Because of the opportunity to bale baleage at a higher moisture than dry hay, harvest timeliness can be improved because the forage requires less curing time after mowing. Impending rainy and unsuitable weather for dry hay production can be avoided with baleage production because of the decreased curing time. The greater moisture content also results in less leaf shatter and dry matter losses during harvest compared to dry hay resulting in greater forage quality. Optimal moisture content at baling ranges from 45 to 60 percent to help ensure proper fermentation. Fermentation is possible from 30 to 70 percent, but mold and spoilage is a much greater risk. If forage is baled outside the ideal range of moisture, a silage inoculant could help fermentation. When moisture content drops below 45% and rises above 60%, it is recommended to add an additional two wraps of plastic to ensure the exclusion of oxygen to commence the anaerobic phase of fermentation to convert sugars to acids. Bales should be wrapped as quickly as possible after baling. Research has shown that bales should be wrapped with six to eight mils of wrap within 24 hours after baling. The goal is to keep the internal temperature of bales less than 120 degrees Fahrenheit to reduce the incidence of the denaturing of proteins and fire hazard. While baling, make bales as dense as possible. Penn State research has shown that by maximizing bale density, several forage quality benefits can be achieved. The greater the bale density, the longer the whole bale is viable for feeding after the plastic has been removed and it has been exposed to air for feeding before spoiling. Greater bale density also leads to greater acid content, resulting in lower pH and lower sugar content, all indicating proper fermentation and optimal feed quality for ruminant livestock while prolonging the whole bale bunk life. Maximize bale density to increase fermentation and improve forage quality. Bales can be stored outside because each bale is protected with plastic from the weather. It is recommended that bales are lined up north to south to slow the degradation of plastic from UV light. Wrapped bales should be checked frequently for holes and obstructions. As soon as the hole is found, the entire hole should be taped up and sealed completely with plastic silage tape to get the oxygen excluded as soon as possible. Oxygen introduced to the bale after fermentation has occurred causes spoilage. It can be advantageous to wrap the bales as close to the storage site as possible. This reduces the risk of holes being punctured in the plastic during transportation and the need for taping up punctured bales. In the end, baleage provides a more palatable and higher quality forage for your livestock compared to dry hay. Using these best management practices can optimize baleage production and boost the nutritional content of your hay.